dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with DC's Villains Month, week two, followed by Sanctum 2, and then for our focal point, Destined Legends. That's right. Our anime this week is Code Geass, and our movie, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, today is the 16th and we're taking a look at week 2 of DC's Villains Month. That's right, 13 all new comics with uh, the holographic covers featuring the DC I... Villains. I'm sorry? Which I was lucky enough to have. Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, someone... I signed up a long time ago. Someone says that if you do the wall that you should definitely like videotape it and show everyone your wall of, of yeah, covers. Unfortunately, it'll probably be a little while because I'm hoping they do Heroes too. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping so but, too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the 13 this week are uh, uh, Harley Quinn, obviously. I believe Solomon Grundy comes next <laughs> in the pile that I yeah. have. Uh, Lobo, right? Can you, oh, did you, saw, did you see that? Okay. So then you have Lobo, uh, uh, Zod... I don't know if I did this in the right order, so it's hot. Black Manta, uh, I'm trying to guess the one before it comes up. <laughs> oh, you're looking every time. I man. am, I am. Uh, Brainiac, um, Killer Frost. He's got too fast. Is Killer Frost next? Killer Frost, yes. Uh, yeah, but then you just looked again. I did, I did. <laughs> the Court of Owls. And then? Trigun. There's Pro Owls. Just Trigun, okay. Uh, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, and you're right, it was a mohawk. It was a mohawk, I was right. Uh, reverse Flash. And then... And then, um... Because <laughs> I have my computer screen there, too, so I'm trying not to look at that. Um, who am I missing? Crap. Uh, Mo uh, Mongol. Yes. Mongol. Pretty good, not bad. Yeah. He was the last to read these, so I was trying to remember the order he read them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was putting them down in the right order. I was just trying to remember. Um... So yeah, those those are our thirteen, and and all of them are obviously self-contained, like they were last week. Um, some of them do branch over, like Harley Quinn will be continued in in um, in Suicide Squad for the later ones, and and again, as I mentioned last time, she's gonna have her own book. Right, so right, kind of cool. And uh, one of the other ones is gonna roll over into Forever Evil. I think that was Black Manor that's gonna roll yeah. over into Forever Evil. Um, so which ones did you like? Well, yeah, they they continued. The, they're both kind of. It's kind of like that hit and miss thing for me. Some of them I was like meh. And some of them I was like, yeah, all right, okay. And I kind of have done this as an experiment for me because I'm not terribly into the DC universe. And there's a lot that I don't really care for. So it's kind of like, okay, well, they're having these awesome holographic covers. And they're they're almost all great. Yes. So it's like, screw it. You know, I'm going to get those and they're going to be show pieces and, you know, perhaps maybe even have value. You know, comics really haven't had value for a long time. But I think this is a really kind of costly uh, process. Since they're not charging an arm and leg for them, this could be... Anyway... Um, and, and I'm going to get an experience from each of these characters and kind of get a flavor and hopefully they'll do enough job, you know, good enough job that I'm interested in some of these characters. And I have to say that I am in some of them. So job well done, really. Um, but again, it's a hit and miss. And I also, it's, it's interesting to me how DC has these overall themes that I never really picked up on. Most of their villains are kind of good guys that have just kind of given up or gotten so far into their own head. I mean, you know, we kind of, I don't know, we kind of have, like, um, we had Relic from the last batch, and then this batch, it's uh, like Brainiac, for instance, you know, it's it's kind of like, he has a, a, a you know, quote-unquote noble purpose. But, oh, okay, but, yeah, I see what you're saying. But, uh, so, so they, they do have some interest there for me about these villains, and the, the only problem with that is that at some point they should have a conversation and realize, oh, this, this villain might really have something you know, that he is concerned about that's actually we should be concerned right. about, so let's work together kind of thing. But they've all gone into madness or so far beyond that they're not even looking for help. They're just trying to do their thing. So I, it, it's it's interesting to me, but it also presents another problem. But I, it comes up a lot, actually. And when I'm reading these, it's like, you know, good guys gone bad kind of thing. So that's, that can be interesting. Um, and, and the other thing that I kind of predominant throughout the series... Is being fucked up during childhood. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, but I, I do, I do kind of have more of an interest. Um, you know, it's the first time I've ever cared about Brainiac, uh, and this cover's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a decent cover. Um, 
I don't know if it's one of my favorite books of this series, of this 13, but it's a decent book. What about you? What do you think of Brainiac? Brainiac was okay. Um, I, I kind of, it, it was a little convoluted as far as storytelling goes, because it, especially in this series, I noticed where they, they skip back and forth through time, you know, so like they're in the past, they're in the present, they're That's in the past, true. they're in the present. Um, and Brainiac did that, but it was, I don't know, it was just, it, it could have been better, I think. Harley Quinn was fairly overall disappointment to me. I, I liked it. I thought it was okay. Some of it was okay, and and I I just I, I you know I like her character, and I'm enjoying the Suicide Squad, and you know that whole thing, and hopefully her book will continue that. But this kind of doesn't really. Well, what I what I like tell me that much. what I liked about it was the um, cover is a little bit lackluster too. They could have done so much cooler stuff, but with, it's with good with the uh, with the new Fifty Two, they're definitely taking liberties as far as origins go, and yeah. while hers is kind of which, where it used to be. This one. Uh, which one's that? Solomon Grundy. Oh, that's Earth 2 Solomon Grundy, though, so that's kind of different. Yeah, well, um, with, I, I didn't really like this book. What I was going to say with Harley Quinn, though, is, is they, they take a slight variation as, as far as her origin, and it worked out, in my opinion, it worked out. It just, unfortunately, the, the book in its entirety wasn't that compelling, uh, unfortunately. So I know you love the Animal Man and the whole rot thing and whatever, so did you like I, Solomon I, Grundy? I did like Solomon Grundy. It's not one of my favorite ones out of the series, but I did like it enough, and I have been interested in Earth 2. I have been reading those. So those are interesting to me, um, and that Solomon Grundy, Grundy specifically is interesting, but yeah. One of them that I had an unexpected bit was Lobo. Yeah, I, I rated Lobo as one of my favorites. Yeah, I kind of enjoy that one. Um, the cover is a little busy, to be clear, but if you do it just so, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to give you, yeah, kind of cover and then the story separately. Right. Uh, Zod one, meh. Mm. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I guess I guess I've I've never liked Zod more, but I don't really care for that character. I thought it was interesting, and I like that cover as well. This one is the best cover of this group, I think. Black Man followed, followed closely by the Reverse Flash or whatever. I liked. I love the um, Reverse Flash. But I also like this book, so yes. I enjoyed the Black Manta, and I'm enjoy. I'm, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna be excited to see what happens with him with Forever Evil, and then also he's joining the Suicide Squad, I believe, if he's not already there. I'm a little behind on Suicide Squad. Waiting for the trade. Uh, anyway, so I really enjoy this one. This, again, it's it's like the best cover here. It's awesome. You can even see it through. Oh, yeah, the, you uh, can. That's pretty cool. The blood's flying out at you. This one was okay, and it seems that they're trying to make sense of the year zero and the um, the annual that we saw. Right. Because I didn't really enjoy the first annual. The second annual's come out, and, you know, it's kind of making it okay. But I'm not sure I like this, but it's fun in the same way. I mean, I don't know. It, the riddles are cool. I figured out all of them except for the one that you could never figure out, you know. So so that was kind of fun. It reminded me of when I was a kid, you know. Kind I of didn't thing. get the electricity one. So anyway, it, it's 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 interesting. It's just, it's not, again, it's, it's a, these are all one shots. So unless they're really well done and really kind of tight, it's just kind of like, okay, well, that'll yeah. be on my wall. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably never read it again. Uh, but this one's kind of cool to cover. Killer Frost, I love the cover. It's a great cover. Decent cover. Yeah. Um, the story is okay. I liked it. In fact, one of the things that I brought up to you... When, it's an origin. This one's an when origin. Was, when I was, yeah, it is an origin. When I was looking at uh, the Killer Frost cover, I noticed that since Injustice came out, um, which is the, the uh, Mortal Kombat-inspired game um, from NetherRealm Studios, when that came out, I really got into to Killer Frost, and I wanted to know more about her. And I ended up really liking her, so this comic actually made me feel better. In fact, I really liked her relationship with uh, Firestorm, which is only touched upon in this. Um, but that was interesting. So. Yeah, that one's a little... I don't know how I feel about that, because there wasn't much of it. Right. But anyway, um, yeah, but it's a decent book. Uh, this one, to me, is one of the worst covers, because it's just flat. Right. But I really like the story. Really? Yeah. I rated that as, like, my least favorite because story. Because it's got this cool noir flavor, and, and it, it takes its time, and I enjoy that. And I also think that... There, it was warranted because we need to have more of the Night Owls. I mean, we're having Talon come out, you know, yeah. a new, new new book come out. But the whole thing with Batman, you know, Court of Owls, we, we didn't get a whole lot of context. And so this provides a little bit. And I enjoy it. So I'm, I'm sad to hear that you don't, didn't enjoy it. What, what, it kind of was... it's, it's a cool book, I think. It's, like I say, it's noir-y and detective-y. And... To me, it kind of went nowhere and... Uh... And you know, it was just a preface into um, what is it, the the the, um, the introduction of the first talent or whatever okay. talent. Uh, Trigun, it, it's a okay cover. It's not anything special. I kind of like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I kind of did. I liked it too. I wouldn't rate it as one of my favorites, but I liked it. The whole sucking up of evil thing. Yeah, I yeah. Thought it, I thought it was compelling. So, and it's also kind of like that weird perverted take on you know kind of Christian mythos or whatever. And yep. So I I enjoy that. 
So that was cool. But you also saw some Christian mythos in, uh, well, maybe not maybe mythos, but in uh, Brainiacs with the uh, with the, the, the plaguing locust thing that they were talking about. Well, that's just a nod to yeah. that sort of thing, but that, yeah. that's not solely Christian, that's for sure. Uh, Mr. Freeze, I, I enjoy the cover okay, but as you brought up, it's not really a pose that we would see from him. Yeah, he's not he, really He's got such a reserved angry. demeanor, but he does lose it every once in a while, yeah. so whatever. It's actually pretty cool. I like up here, especially. It's just, I don't know, I like the depth there. Um, this one's okay, again, uh, year zero, definitely, or um, I'm sorry, the annual ties to the right, annual, right. and it kind of elaborates on that, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting better with the whole, uh, spoiler alert, Getting better with the whole uh, Nora is a lie kind of thing that we were kind of irritated by from, from the annual. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting take on um, Mr. Freeze because the the ones that we grew up with was he was just so, you know, I have to save Nora. I have to do whatever I can. And that's the only thing that ever matters, period. Now he's just nuts. So you but I'm, have I'm to interested warm up to see to it. more. <laughs> you have to warm up to it with Mr. Freeze. Um, this one? Is probably the second best cover. I love that cover. Yeah, it's a cool cover. And I like that they kind of added more to it with the whole metal thing. Yeah. You know, and I'm not going to spoil it. It's a fun read. Uh, I, I really hate this character usually, but this one's kind of like, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, it's and a, it has nothing to do with the Flash, really. So. I'm and it's a different that. kind of reverse Flash. It's yeah. not the one that we know. So. Yeah, and it, it's kind of a little lame the way it happens. But they also do this fun thing with the artwork and make it, you know, feel like yesteryear a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a solid book. Uh, one of the best covers so far. And Mongol, the one and I forgot. And the last one, Mongol. Um, I actually like this one. I, li I liked it, too. That's one of my favorites. This is another one that's, you know, very big and about space and the Green Lantern Corps, you know, kind of thing. But it was enjoyable to watch. And it's it's it makes me feel like... Relic and Mongol are kind of like complete opposites. Like yeah. one's on one side, one's on the other, and so I kind of get that. It is funny though that these, some, a lot of these villains are so big, which I think I guess is cool because it takes a team of you know superheroes to to fight them. Unless you're Superman, so I don't know. I, I don't know the balance there. I just it's something that I notice is that their villains are mammoth. They're they're like world destroyers, eaters. Yep. So it's kind of like, hey, can he be like Galactus? I mean, I'm coming from Marvel side. It's like, okay, can that guy be like Galactus? Oh, sure. You know, so there's a lot of planet, de you know, uh, devouring villains in DC. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. I, I like Mongol. That was a great one. And the cover's okay. But overall, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really continuing to enjoy the Villains Month. There are only a few covers that have been kind of flat, but some of the flat covers have good stories, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and overall, it is very worth it. Again, they're only charging an extra uh, dollar than their reduced price for the new 52 yeah, so, so it's, it's like a regular marvel book yeah and and that's pretty awesome and i think they're you know if they're not breaking even there might be even losing some money but it's trying to get, get awareness and there's not a whole lot of these available so if they're out there you can just snatch them up if you can um otherwise yeah we just hope that we see some heroes coming like that's really all there is to it all right guys uh thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow our great playlists game lab's been a lot of fun yes it has and please leave comments we love comments and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com that's right t-shirts a car game art print shirts stars and more and if you're on facebook so are we so find us and friend us and if i'm online i will chat with you all day and we're both blogging you can find me fisk37.tumblr.com I'm blogging as characters and releasing updates to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com uh, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you next week. Yes. I threw myself off because I said see you next week. See you next week. Tomorrow. See you next tomorrow. Next up, it's the video game Sanctum 2. DC Villains Month, Sanctum 2, Destined Legends. Destined, Destined Legends. Would you say Gias or Geese? Gias. Me too. I think the full title is um, Code Gias. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Lelouches. I'm not gonna say it. it's Lelouches. very French sounding and that offends me <laughs> greatly. It offends you? Code Gias. Gias. And League Extraordinary Gentlemen and Women. Woman. Here we go. I got this. One takes all I need. Here we go. <clears throat> DC Villains Month, week two. I'm gonna bet $20 that you're gonna mess up.
If I had twenty dollars, I might take that bet, but I don't. If you want, if I get it right, will you just give me twenty bucks. <laughs> I'll screw it up so that. Oh, that's just me. Okay, here we go. One take. DC villain mo villains month week two. Hey guys, welcome to the Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with DC villains month week two, followed by Sanctum two, and then for our focal point, Destined Legends. That's right. Our enemy this week is Code Geass. And our movie, The Extraordinary League of Gentlemen, damn it. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So close. You got it right, though. I Good did. Job. Not giving you any money. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week. Starting off with DC Villains Month, week two. What happened to Perfect? It was, did it perfect the first time. It was there. It just bounced out. Okay, so there's 13 titles. Two, four, six, eight... 12. Four weeks of 13 makes 52. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey everybody, today is the 16th and we're taking a look at week 2 of DC's Villains Month. That's right, it's all 13 today. <laughs> Do it again. Week 2. Brain fart. Trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> see you next week. Yes. I threw myself off because I said see you next week. See you next week? Tomorrow. See you next tomorrow. <laughs> the very next tomorrow there is. I have only myself to blame. Mao, Diddy Mao. What? Mao, Diddy Mao? I believe that's Vietnamese for hurry up now. Find my heart. I don't know how to say that. Good job. All right, we did that.